Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hey guys, this is your reading for a month. This is for April. I don't know why I said April. I did it in a pre-shuffle too, but for August 18th through September 18th. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Aries? Please shoot me messages for Aries. Something wanted to jump there. Let's see. What's going on around Aries currently? The Emperor, standing in your power. Feeling very confident and feeling like whatever it is that you're doing, this is what you're supposed to be doing here. Um, there could definitely be another Aries or somebody with this very masculine energy and control of themselves. Um, a person around you like that, okay? Or Taurus energy. What's crossing my Aries here? The so Nine of Wands. I feel that there's something that uh, some of you are kind of leery of and you're feeling very defensive as far as someone or something is concerned. Um, I feel that you're trying to protect yourself. So this is, I feel, you guys being standoffish or just not really taking much action towards something because you feel like, you know, this is what's best for you. you like, you're trying to shield yourself, shield your heart. Um, just shield, protect what it is that, that you hold near and dear in this situation. Sagittarius energy here. What's the underlying issue for my Aries? Two of Pentacles. You guys have a lot on your plate. There's a lot that you're trying to accomplish. And you're really just trying to keep things in balance. You're not trying to allow outside circumstances, I feel, to interfere with what it is that you're trying to do. And I feel like what it is that you're trying to do is make your money. You're trying to maintain your livelihood, okay, is what I'm feeling. So... If there's something that's trying to interfere nine times out of ten, again, it's love because you're focused on your money. You have a lot of responsibilities. So you have to kind of like keep shit in check in order to fulfill those responsibilities. Okay. Oh, look at all these cards. God dog it. You guys have a lot going on. Look at here. Look at here. The star. Aquarius energy. Your destiny. You're going for it. And you have a lot on your plate. Just not really knowing how to feel about um, whatever emotional connection I feel like you you may think is interfering with what it is that you're trying to accomplish here. In the recent past, let's see. For Aries. The lovers. Gemini energy there. Hmm. I feel that you guys made a decision about someone and you kind of decided to turn your back on a situation um, because for some reason I feel that you guys probably were trying to do too much or you feel like you were overextending yourself to this situation and it's like you know what I, I just have to let this go because if I keep at it with this person with this situation um, it's not going to be good for me. So I'm feeling like you turn your back on this and um, you're, you're blocking out what's necessary for you to succeed financially, I feel. Because at this point, I'm feeling like you guys kind of feel like you, you can't have both things right now. Like you have to concentrate on one thing in order for it to you know, provide what it is that you need for it to provide. And I think that's financial um, stability in this situation. Okay. <clears throat> Aries crowning thoughts. Aries crowning thoughts. The hanged man. Again, taking your hands off of it. Um, you feel like you've sacrificed yourself enough in a situation here. And you, right now it's like you're not willing to do anything else. You're not willing to put your emotions into this situation. Put your energy into a situation here. Okay? It's just stagnant. 
that's what's on your mind it's like I just need to let just let this shit go you know it's not benefiting me I need to concentrate on what I have going on in my material life with my family you're trying to protect something here I really like I feel like you guys are really trying to protect your heart um, because you've been hurt before you've been hurt before the ten of wands flipped over here but I'm getting the sense that you guys do not want to you don't want to be standoffish you want to put that to bed you want to be open I, I'm just getting that you know you're just not willing to give all of yourself you need somebody to meet you halfway you're not trying to be the one that does all of the work Put in all of the work make all of the effort i think you're just over that type of situation let's see what's coming in for aries three of wands hmm three of wands is always like it's like the magician doing whatever it is that you need to do to make some shit happen and i feel like that's what you have done um, and not overstepping anybody's boundaries and not allowing them to overstep yours. But I feel like now you're waiting on something to motivate you to continue in this relationship. It's like you're waiting for this person to do something, to react, to come towards you. They need to make the effort to come towards you is what I'm hearing here. How does Aries feel about this situation? It could definitely be another Aries or fire sign in general for you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Gemini's here. Pisces here. Capricorn is here as well. How is Aries feeling about this situation? All of these wands, eight of wands, you guys are wanting to move forward. I feel like, you know, at this point, you're wanting to communicate. You're wanting to not be stagnant. But you want it to be reciprocated. You guys are wanting to see some change in this person because you've changed. There's something about you guys that has, has changed. You're just not willing to just jump into something blindly. Um, you have to see where somebody is actually putting in the effort. <clears throat> what is the outside influence for Aries? Six of Cups. Yeah. Um, you guys have a strong bond with this individual. This is Scorpio energy here. You have a very strong bond with this person. I feel like this is somebody that for most of you, you've known for a very long time. Not like you, you don't necessarily have to have been with this person for a long time. <coughs> Excuse me, but you know this person and you feel like whenever you were with them that it was more than just an intimate connection you felt like it was something deeper like this was your soulmate okay but there's something that happened between the two of you where you felt like you needed to pull back or walk away and leave the situation behind but you know you haven't completely left it behind because you still think about it there's still like memories there and you know basically wanting things to kind of turn around um, not expecting them to but wanting them to because I see you pre you're prepared to move on to move forward because I mean that's just what you do you don't stay stagnant and this person will get left behind in the dust if they are not doing what you feel like, you know, they need to be doing and reciprocating what it is that you want and what you feel and your actions. Hopes or fears for Aries. Hopes or fears for Aries. Ten of Pentacles. Most definitely. You want something very committed, something very solid and stable. Um, you're trying to get to a point where you want for nothing. Okay, whether it's material goods, whether it's love, whether it's um, just status in life, period. You don't want to be on, on this balancing board. Always, you know, leery if you move too far one way that you're going to fall. No, you want stability. You want enough money to be able to do the things that you want to do. You want to be able to travel. You want to be able to buy a house. You want to be able to have a family. You want to be able to have a husband or wife. You know, you just want a very committed situation all around here. Virgo energy. 
what's what's the overall outcome for Aries? Overall outcome for Aries. Seven of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you guys are playing a waiting game. Um, but you it's like with you guys, you know what you want, but you're not trying to push the buck, I feel, in this upcoming month. Um, you're waiting to see what it is that you need to invest in. Should you invest your time in this situation or should you invest your time in any situation? It's like you're just evaluating your planning and um, try, just trying to see what it is that you need to do. I don't see you making any hasty moves here. Uh, Taurus energies here. Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius is here. Um, Gemini and Capricorn energy. So it's a waiting game right now for you guys to try to see if, you know, this is a situation that you should invest in or leave alone is what I'm getting from this. Okay, guys? So I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?